I did the clapping. Do you want to bring it in, Steve? Okay. Oh my god, it was amazing. Okay, ready? Yeah. No yeah. toys today. Not as epic as my cool shoe. No, no, I'm never making toys. Welcome to the show where we read your comments. Oh no! Can I have my boot back though? Because my foot's cold. That's one of those things like I can make fun of my mom, but you can't make fun of my oh, mom. So please. listen, guys, no! we this show we read your comments <laughs> using the hashtag table talk. That's not true. We use your uh, comments <laughs> on videos that we what post. What show are you doing? And we read them. Yes, I'm we Steve do. Zaragoza. I'm Trisha Hershberger. I'm Meg Turney. Yay! Um, but before we jump right into everybody's comments, let's go ahead and look at the artwork this week. called Girls, Girls, Girls with special guest Nikki Philippa. Mm. And um, we asked you guys, what's your favorite thing about yourself for some positivity Vanks in your day? I'm sorry. Fengsis24 says, how my skin glistens in the moonlight when I'm covered in mayonnaise? <laughs> I like that. Is that your alt account, Steve? <laughs> <Is it Steve? laughs> Just because I like to cover my body in mayonnaise. In mayonnaise. Doesn't mean that I made that account and posted that comment 24 hours ago. 1122 says, my thumbs, they're very useful. They allow me to hold things against the power of gravity and salute people positively. Couldn't live without them or I'd live as a unicorn. That last part made no sense. So if you cut your thumbs off, you You're become a unicorn. unicorn. We figured it out, guys. Wait, hold on. Oh, Did you just I never eat something that. that came off of your sock? No, it was a. I had a pile of nuts over here. She just ate sock nuts. So I had just my, ate some sock nuts. <laughs> my pile of cashews because I couldn't have the branded back here. I had to put a little pile. <laughs> if my you guys want to buy McTurney sock nuts, you go to <laughs> McTurney.com slash sock nuts. If the music says, I like my singing voice since it's not the generic Christina Aguilera voice, okay. chucking in Does vibrato. She have a generic voice? An incredible. I don't know, chucking in vibrato and climbing up and down scales like no one's business. I mean, it's not perfect and still needs work, but it's not the same as everyone else's voice. That's cool. Ooh. She get into music. I think, I think she means that when people do all sorts of crazy runs, that's generic. Mm. Not yeah. the way Christina does. You know, I Christina think. Aguilera does sound like a generic. I mean, you know, she's got a beautiful but voice. But she has that, she can tap she, into a very soulful yeah, but it's voice. Like, but I, is it weird for me to say that I think the last unique voice of this generation was probably Amy Winehouse. You're not going to say Lana Del Rey? Well, I mean, Amy uh, Winehouse was kind of doing a Lana Del Rey thing. I think Amy she? Winehouse has a very unique voice. Mm -hmm. I would say the greatest unique voice, and I'm going to go out on a limb here, from this generation is Mariah Carey. Oh, I thought you were going to say Macy Gray. No. Mariah Carey has like an eight octave range. She's a piano, ladies and gentlemen. That's insane. It's crazy. She also has real interesting boobs that point sideways. I like that. Yeah. Brendan That's Murphy good. says, <laughs> Brendan Murphy says, my small toe, because in fifth grade, my science teacher told me that small toes are pointless because we have shoes now, and then in a few hundred years, no one will have pinky toes. Yeah, I've right. heard that about pinky fingers, too, that they're shorter because they're, like, evolving out of our lives. Oh. And that we're gonna, that's why pinky fingers and pinky toes are shorter. Well, we no cartoon characters really have a pinky finger, so. So cartoon characters are more evolved Maybe than they us? are. Maybe they're the next form well, of evolution. Well, then will our fingers scoot over, or will we lose this part of our hand? I'm sure they, we might lose that part of our hand. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, that'd be weird, dude. I want Ninja Turtle hands. So yeah, Ninja Turtle. Yeah, exactly. So when I point, it's like I'm flipping you off. They had little, like, can I say this on camera? Outlast, the final chapter! Or Two Scared Girls and a Steve. It's the last episode of Outlast. We beat it! Uh, wordplay aside, we finally beat the goddamn game. Finally! Yeah, yeah and uh, to, to our chagrin, though, because it was fun. It was fun. I to don't play know the game. that there's a game I've ever enjoyed less. Really? 
Oh, I mean, I think it was it was very very well done. <laughs> you but must not it have was ever it was a... very well done. But I yes, yeah, scary you games. Should, you should play oh, Knack. No. <laughs> oh, I, the game is bad. Don't bring I it back up. Don't that. bring it back around. I have it's played that. Thank um, you very much. Logan21 says, and people say that was the last time Steve's beard was ever seen alive. <laughs> the end. It's true. That's it's a great true. story. That's I felt, a great story. I felt like story. we were on a whole journey well, there. Well, Billy didn't have a beard. And if you become Billy the didn't new have Billy. A beard, and if I, yeah, you're right. I was. We were all effectively the new Billy at mm, the end there. Mm-hmm. And by the way, uh, speaking of the new Billy. This, and the end. The video <laughs> ends very abruptly. It doesn't have our normal outro. And it does have like a pretty funny end, which I we all loved very much when we were watching the We movie. watched that. For some reason, it ended up on YouTube with the end cut off. There's no explanation. It just happens sometimes. And uh, But we want to showcase the fe- the ending of the video to you guys because we must. It's the last Outlast we video. We must. We must. The show must go on. So oh. check it out really quick. This is the end of the Outlast video. Oh. Oh, come on. Oh. I was like, come on, all that, we get fucking killed in the end, but it sounds like we are the new Billy. Uh, well. Okay, so the actual ending of the video <laughs> is a little abrupt as well, but this one was on purpose and to much comedic effect. I liked it. Yeah, um, uh, I saw in the comments that Bennett Wenger said, all you can do in this game is run. You can't attack back. Mm-mm. Maybe strangle one of those guys with baseball bats and take his bat and use it to ward off the other ones. I'm confused by all this, but it's entertaining to hear your trauma. Yeah. A, I'm glad that you're entertained by our trauma. B, no, you can't attack back. That's what's so frustrating hey, about this game. You play like a total pussy mm-hmm. wuss that doesn't want to fight. Mm-hmm. Dude, if I could have taken a bat and just started beating the crap out of people, it would have been so much more satisfying. Oh, I like this one. Freaks of the Internet says, <clears throat> It made me unreasonably happy to hear Steve singing Babe. I love sticks. I love sticks too! And the <laughs> thing is, is that, I don't know, maybe it'll end up in bloopers. I don't know. But it, there's a part where I go up to that piano and I'm like, I want to play a sticks song. And I start playing it and I start singing it. And there's only like a slight portion of it in the video. I'm kind of sad because I was singing Styx's Babe, and that's a great song. Let's talk about Styx's better song, Lorelei. How dare you? Lorelei. It's debatable that Styx's greatest song is Come Sail Away. Well, I know. I think that's their greatest song, but... In my college band, we played oh, Mr. Roboto and then Laura. What did you do in your college band, Meg? I was badass. She played you... a skin flute. <laughs> oh, I played flute in high school, and I never, that joke never was funny. She played the butt trumpet. Perfect. That's actually a great one. <laughs> she played the assophone. <laughs> On Table Talk this week, we had a special guest, Anthony Carboni from D News, and Elliot and I and Anthony all talked about crazy stuff, tattoos and bad movie quotes, and Anthony mistakenly said that Mr. Freeze says, ice to meet you, which he doesn't, and Anthony has since recounted. Also, I accidentally (laughs) called RoboCop Terminator, but I meant RoboCop, and it's like the 14th time I've done that in my life. It's true. I do it all the time. I'm out of the office for a week, and suddenly everyone drops these terrible... (laughs) No, here's the thing. Nobody noticed while we were filming. (laughs) Nobody said anything. I would have noticed the fuck out of it. It's RoboCop, and I was talking about Bitches Leave being my favorite movie line. Yeah. It's a good and movie. And you line. said it was Terminator? I, 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 always separ- I always say that. I always separate them because I really like the Terminator movies and not as much the Robocop movies, but I really like the Robocop NES game. Oh. Hmm. So they're separate. I just saw both of them back to back as a child. Ah. Or, or at a similar time. Well, yeah, so they, they were around the together. same time ish. Um, <clears throat> so we asked you guys, one of the questions we asked is if you could bring a TV show back for like another season or two, mm-hmm. what would you bring back? I said Clone High. Oh, Clone um, High was good. I love Clone High. Viper Strike Twenty Eight says, "If he could do fewer seasons, he would say Lost, How I Met Your Mother, and Dexter. Hmm. But if he wanted two more seasons, whose line is it anyway? I know it's back, but the original one run. Why did it ever stop? Oh mm. well, I, I think I was okay with that show. Oh man, I so, like this one a lot. Uh, Pot Chardonnay Emron says, "Wait, wait, what?" <laughs> 
Or maybe it's Whoa. Pop Chardonnay. Pot Chardonnay. Pot Chardonnay. I don't know. I like Pot Chardonnay. Pot Chardonnay Emron says, two more seasons of Samurai Jack. Mm. How about okay. eight more seasons of Samurai mm -hmm. Jack? That show was the shit. It was. I'm all about XXI McKid. I know where you're going with this one. XX. Two more seasons. That 70s show, I'm friggin' obsessed with that no, show. I watch it all go. the time. Although, did you watch it all the way through I the did, end? and yeah. I, when Eric, look, let's talk about I when did. Topher Grace I did. and Ashton Kutcher good. both left, it was, it was over, it was done. So let's add two more seasons, like in between seasons one and two. Like when everybody okay, was still right. young and not too excited about life. Let's stretch the rules a bit. Like I'll do it. Oh, want. if you can add them in the good years. Because I, I saw want. Russian Magic 3 says, I wish Dexter would have two fewer seasons. Yeah, please. But if we're allowed to insert the seasons in the good times, I wish Dexter had more seasons early on. We should have just Right extended... after the Trinity season, maybe. Or yeah. right before the Trinity season. Or all, be yeah, exactly. Or just more the, of the Trinity the season. The John Lithgow stuff. Yeah. yeah. We needed more of that. Well, we're... in this magic world, why don't we just make the <laughs> the poor rich and the rich poor? And then we'll cut off your pinkies and you'll be a unicorn. And we'll be a unicorn. And then we'll eat Meg's sock nuts forever. <laughs> That's it for Comic Commentary. But before we go, we got to give away this wonderful t-shirt. And it's going to 1122, who told us about how when you cut your thumbs off, you're a unicorn. <laughs> so you're going to get this. Check your YouTube inbox. We'll be messaging you. And we're all going to sign it. It's going to be wonderful. Yay! My, I pooped my pants. Guys, don't forget we have a ton of other stuff coming out this weekend. We have a new movie thing show where later on we're going to see that awkward moment. Uh-huh. Oh. And someone's going to pay for making me see that. And then uh, we're going to go on to bloops. We got movie club this weekend. Yeah. It's all going to yeah. be great. Please stay tuned. I'm Meg Turney. I'm Trish Hirschberger. I'm Steve Zaragoza. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click this annotation to see all the other stuff that we're doing. And don't forget to have a good weekend. Bye, everybody. I love you. <laughs>